Today we're going to replace this component here. This is the gearbox. What I like to do is fold the card up so it's upside down and uh, remove the wheels and put them under the frame so it braces the frame to keep it steady. You also want to get your battery and lay it down on the side because we're going to need to rotate the axle a little bit. So plug it in and then you can just slowly turn the green knob on the, in the handle and rotate the axle so this set screw here is visible right at the top there, just like that. Now the first thing we want to do is remove this axle pin and I like to get a block of wood just to put it close to there and then use a small hammer, get it flush now like that and then you should have a, a pin punch tool in the kit that came with your gearbox and you want to remove that pin completely. Axle pin out the next thing we want to remove is this set screw here and there's a little three, three millimeter uh, Allen wrench that came in your kit and so we're just going to remove that, take that all the way out when you take it out this will loosen this collar here and you can take that collar off to the side like so and then we're going to rotate it again and you'll see when we rotate it 180 degrees, there's a little ball bearing there. And that ball bearing sometimes wants to be a little tricky to get out. You can take a hammer and tap lightly on the end, and you'll see the ball bearing start to rise up there. What we want to do is pull the axle all the way through. So we just want to tap it slowly, get it started, and then you should be able to pull it out either by hand or just lightly tapping. You don't want to damage don't want to damage the end of the axle. We've got the, the axle all the way out. I, um, I like to sit the collar here just so I don't forget it. Next thing we want to do is a, with a Phillips head screwdriver, we're going to remove there's three screws that hold the motor to the gearbox. So we're going to remove those three screws out from the motor. Uh, we're going to pull the motor out and I like to just sit it on the frame right there so it's out of the way. There's a little rubber gasket here you want to reuse. It goes between the motor and the gearbox. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we're going to remove these two screws here. Um, they have nuts on the bottom here, so they're going to the nuts may fall out. So you can sometimes put a, a piece of tape under there or a putty knife just to keep them kind of pushed up. But you'll be able to get to them pretty easily. Okay, so we're going to remove these two screws. Two screws come out of here, and there's little little washers also there. Now this gearbox will come free like so, and uh, this is the spot where those nuts are that I was telling you about. So one did fall out. Okay. Now this little piece, um, you're going to reuse this piece. So we'll go to install the new gearbox. We're just going to use that same one. This is the new gearbox that we're going to put on the cart. Um, this is the part that you can't see on the underside, so these nuts fit in, these, in the cavity there. And what's a good idea is just put a little piece of tape over here to hold them in place because they're a little tricky to, uh, to hold in place when you put the screws in. So this fits underneath this bar, and lines up with these holes. Then you take that other piece and this sits in here and you want to line it all up and then reinstall these screws. Okay, so you're going to screw those in, line them up with the nuts and tighten that up.